exactly 7.08 atomic time on January 15th. We're looking at my, my work. Here's my Mobius paper. It's drawn like this on the front and the same on the back. Now, very quickly, here's a Mobius strip. Here's a three flip Mobius strip. It has one edge, one surface, and three twists. This is it cut down the middle. It is a loop with eight twists, an overhand knot, two surfaces. It has a black edge and a white edge. Here it is organized as a little coil. It tidies up nicely. It takes about 10 minutes for the first time to figure out that little orientation. If you add a half snip to the paper right here, it becomes this. This has a crossing number of six. It has all the white side on the inside, all the black surfaces on the outside, and it has the black edge in the bottom and the white edge on the top. And this has become a knot diagram. And this is the extended Gauss notation. One minus one minus two minus three minus four, four, five, two minus six, minus five, three, six. I've drawn it here as my little notation, taking account for the black, which is the under, and the white is the over. Here's the loop, and you can see the knot notation. It goes plus one, minus one. So the white is positive, the black is minus. I've colored in red the loops, which is here in the middle, around here, and the second loop, which is on the outside, right here. And I've, when I, you take out the two loops from the knot notation, you get this series of eight. Two unders, two overs, two unders, two overs. And that actually represents a figure of eight knot because when you look at a figure of eight knot um, right here, you can see um, this is another knot notation from a Mobius strip that's been like intersected with six crossings. Here is the knot notation. Here's the extended Gauss notation. But here's my simplified version. And we have, we start here, we go under, over, under, over. And it goes under, over, under, over. I've put those in red. I've taken those out. And then I've written it down. Actually, I actually haven't filled it in, but it goes under, under, over, over, under, under, over, over. So these are the same. The other type of knot that you get from intersecting movie strips is this one. It's a trefoil knot. It has three crossings and three loops. Here's the loop one, two, and three. We look at the knot notation starting right here. Here's the extended Gauss notation. I've circled in red the three loops. It goes under, over, under, over for this loop and this loop. We skip one, two, three spaces. We come to the second loop which is right here. Here's the three spaces, one, two, three. Here's the other loop. When we take those out, we have this notation. Over, under, over, under, over, under. And when we look at a trefoil knot, the crossings are, um, for example, over, under, over, under, over, under. So a trefoil knot is equal to a Mobius strip that has three loops added into it somewhere, or it is a figure of eight knot such as right here, but it has two loops added into it. Uh, I've also drawn my knot diagrams as braids. So this knot diagram is equal to my simplified negative positive knot notation or the extended Gauss notation right here, but it also equals this braid right here. This knot has two versions. It's either this or it's this one. This one right here is actually this knot right here. It has one loop in the middle. It has a loop on itself where it crosses itself on the outside. Its extended gas notation is minus one, one, two, three, four, minus four, five, minus two, minus six, minus five, minus three, six. And when I look at my simplified knot notation for the positives and negatives or the, or the widths of the knot, um, when I take out the loops, which the first loop is right here, which is right here in the center, we take out um, the two spaces in between and the other loop right here. When we subtract those out, something strange happens. It becomes four pluses and four minuses. Now I'm trying to understand how this loop with eight twists and overhand knot, two surfaces and two edges, is equal to a figure of eight knot with four crossings and two loops, or a trefoil knot that has one, two, three crossings and three loops. And we know, and at least I know, that when a loop of, when a strip of paper is given two twists, 
one loop cancels two twists. You can do this. You can take a strip of paper such as this. You can give two flips to one end and you'll see that it naturally wants to go into a loop. You just got to work it out. So if a loop cancels two twists, it should be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That accounts for the eight twists. However, when you do it on this, it goes two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't add up. I'm not, under, I'm not sure how we get the eight twists canceled. In this knot, it's interesting, if you cut it right here and cut the five um, braids, and if you add up the six crosses, if a cross is half a twist and it goes, we cut, say, right here, which is five, um, then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, they're halves, so that's three, so five plus three, the total of the half crosses equals eight. So I'm not sure how it all adds up. I'm just trying to figure it out in algebra and all the other maths. There's many different knots. You can see them all here. This is my notebook. We're trying to understand it. It's very slow. Someone on YouTube needs to tell me what branch of mathematics I need to look at. I've been looking at knot theory. I've been looking at group theory. I've been looking at the wrists, I've been looking at the winding number, I've been looking at the Eulerian character, the Eulerian characteristic of the, of the graphs, I think they're digraphs. These are actually representing frame graphs. Um, I'm kind of looking everywhere to figure this out. It's proving very slow. So that's it. That's my YouTube video again. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck with your movie strips. Bye.